Well, here we are. I have a uh, Edelbrock Performer RPM Q Jet. Uh, pretty cool manifold. I got one recently, finally. And uh, pardon my voice, I, I got a cold for Christmas. I'm fine, though. So, anyway, I uh, drilled my pilot hole. I mean, there's my pilot hole. I drilled a 3 16 hole. Uh, since the last manifold went pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and add the oil fill tube to this manifold. The performer was kind of a test because if I screwed it up, well, who cares? Uh, so now I have a manifold I actually like, and I'm going to do the same thing. But we're going to go to the inch and an eighth hole saw. We'll see how that works. Uh, someone commented on that, and we're going to give it a try. So here we go. All right, here we go. Inch and a quarter hole saw. Or inch and an eighth, I'm sorry. Don't use inch and a quarter, your hole will be too big. So I'm using an inch and three sixteenths bit here. It's a silver and dimming type bit, half inch shank. I'm just going to go really slow and enlarge this. Now we're out to about 1.205 or 1.210. So we're getting close. I'm going to measure the filler tube and uh, just ream this out a little bit more. So I was in Lincoln, Nebraska last week and I picked up a few of these Speedway chrome filler tubes. Part number 910-17441. I've used these before, and you know, they're cheap, but they're fine. So we're still not there. And this thing measures about 1.255. So I'm just going to slowly enlarge this hole to where we have a nice interference fit here. Alright, get out your favorite RTV, put a little around the base of the tube, so 
So with any luck, maybe it won't leak. Just using a bearing and seal driver. It's a cheap set from O'Reilly's and the smallest one happens to fit perfectly. Alright, there it's done. I just wiped off the excess uh, RTV and uh, I'll just let it dry now. And I have other plans with this manifold for later, but today that's all we're going to do. So, anyway, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. The inch and eighth hole saw definitely saved some time to get me closer to the final dimension. So, anyway, thanks guys. There's one final view, all done.